Okay guys, let's play with some new makeup. Some of this is semi-new um, and others have been requested from a few subscribers and a few suggestions for me to try. So I thought that would be fun to just have a little chatty get ready with me. I already put on my complexion base and so I thought we would focus on eyes. Cheeks are the new items that I have. Okay, you guys, I have been on a little bit of a Chanel kick and have picked up another one of their blushes. And this is because of Michelle Wong. You guys, I spend too much money when I watch her videos. She's awesome. <laughs> oh, but her favorite blush ever is in Golden Sun. And I just have been falling in love with these blushes because of the way that they wear on the skin. Um, I think they are so pretty on more mature skin. And despite the fragrance so far, I have not had any issues with that. Um, they smell lovely, you guys. It's just I wish that it wasn't so strong. So you might be wondering if this is the same as the Tweed blush that I picked up when I was in New York. And I was thinking the same thing that, you know, oops, I should take this back. But I want to go ahead and give you a swatch of both of them because this is slightly different. Um, actually different, different. So the creaminess of, it's so funny because when I saw this in the pan, I was just sort of ho-hum like, huh, what's the big deal about it? But then when you swatch it, you guys look at what a beautiful color that is. That is so pretty. I'm going to be putting that on the skin. And then I want to swatch tweed for you because I really like this, but this is definitely more you're going to see just a minute. See, there is a difference. This one has that kind of gold shimmer. I think this looks beautiful kind of as a blush topper. And again, I know that is high maintenance, but do you see how this has a little bit more of a reflect in it? I feel like it's so pretty, a little higher on the cheeks. It just sort of lifts up the face. But again, even if you can see on my fingers here, I'm hoping you can see, this golden sun is just going to be a little bit more neutral. And then this has more of an amber undertone to it. It's so pretty. So both of them are gorgeous. Now, I've also been in search of the perfect bronzer and I have yet to find it. And when I was at the counter, they have the beautiful Le Beige um, powders. And the woman was suggesting that I try this guy in number 50, that it makes the perfect bronzer. So I have been curious, you guys, number one, let's just be, let's take a moment for the packaging. And just FYI, I'm a total sucker for packaging. The joke um, that my mom always said about me is that I like new, improved, or imported. If that hit the boxes, I'm getting it. <laughs> oh, so I have been this way for a very long time. Um, so I don't, I totally buy makeup due to the packages. Okay, so just want to get that out there. Um, so this is the new Chanel Le Beige packaging, and it's just a little bit different. And then on the inside, I'm give you a close up here. On the inside, you guys, can you see how it has that beautiful uh, Chanel embossed in it? Just so fun. So I thought we would put on a little bronzer, a little blush, and then I'm gonna do a quick eye using a couple requests from you as well as a eyeliner. So let's dive in and let's start with the blush, I mean with the bronzer. So you guys, I am gonna use my handy dandy. This is my Giorgio Armani sculpting brush. This is what I tend to like for bronzer. And I am going to just kinda, I know you don't wanna mess up the little Chanel here. Um, and I'm going to put this and sculpt on my cheeks and we can see if this is going to be work for me. So I have tried this once before and I wasn't sure if it was quite what I was looking for. So it's going to be a very sheer powder. Um, 
and give you a little bit of sculpting action. The shade they were saying is someone just loves this for bronzing. Like it's not too warm and it's not too cool. And so this might be an option for some of you. And again, if you have your favorite bronzer, I do have Tom Ford Terra. I'm not totally sold on it. And then they just put on the gold dust, which I did enjoy. Um, but let's see what we think as far as bronzer. So upon first little application, I think that it's a really sheer kind of powder that makes your skin look very nice. You cannot detect any powder on the skin. I don't know if it is quite giving me the bronzy glow that I like and that is to be expected from the fact that this is actually a powder. So maybe this is going to be really pretty. We'll just kind of play with this for a little bit and see what we think. I'm going to bring this down underneath here. Now they have a new Chanel bronze duo which has a highlight. It's on Chanel.com. I've been holding out um, because it is one of the new releases and I have been very intrigued by it. So of course in my mind I'm like if this doesn't work I might have to get that. So you guys let me know what you think about this guy. And this is in number 50 and it is the La Beige powder. And it comes with a little half moon. Actually we'll use a little bit. I want to see what you guys think of this brush. And oh, there we go. Using this, you guys, this is not a bad brush at all. Kind of like it. Okay, that is the bronzing powder using La Beige. Again, adorable packaging. <laughs> We have to like the contents as well. Now that we've got a little bronze on, let's go ahead and put on this beautiful blush. You guys, this is so pretty. Let's see how this works. I'm gonna be using my NARS little blush brush that I tend to use here. And I'm gonna put this guy on. So far, you guys, I am thinking that the actual Golden Sun is giving me enough oomph compared to the La Beige number 50 powder. Wanted to give you a quick swatch. This is what I could get from the number 50. It's such a light sheer powder that it does give you a little bit of warmth to the skin, but it's going to be very subtle. So I'm not sure if that is gonna be the winner winner. <laughs> okay, let's dive into my favorite eye quad at the moment. You guys, uh, I purchased the Lumiere Naturals. I'm not saying it, I'm butchering that, but you guys, this one I have used nonstop along with the Le Beige palette. So I know they're very similar, but I really am loving both of them and this one is just awesome. So what I thought I would do is put this quickly on my eyes and then I wanted to use a Chanel uh, eyeliner that someone had asked me to if I had it and if I would use it on my eyes. So I'm gonna be using the Chanel Cassis eyeliner. You guys, I love Stilo U waterproof eyeliners are, are my favorite and I'm gonna be doing a whole eyeliner <laughs> video for you. So you guys, I am someone who loves uh, eyeliner. I think it really defines my eyes and Chanel has some of my absolute favorites. So that is going to be coming up with a few new colors that were just launched. Um, so excited. Okay, let me, I'm gonna go ahead and just gonna run through a quick eye look and then I'll be back with the eyeliner.
guys, basically I have this quad that's just really nice and neutral on the eyes. I love this little kind of silver, silvery topaz shade over in the corner. And then I am going to um, give my eyes a little oomph by using the Chanel eyeliner in Cassis. So you guys, this is one of my favorite colors. Uh, don't laugh, this is one of Meghan Markle's favorites. <laughs> oh, but I actually, I, a makeup artist and use this on my eyes to kind of make the hazel pop. So it is a um, dark, basically has a purple undertone to it. So very dark brown with purple in it. Um, and it really does, I just think it is beautiful. So this is one of my most worn um, eyeliners when I'm going leaning towards that kind of purple shade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tight line, go as close as I possibly can to my lash line and then do a thin line on the top. So I'm going to just kind of come underneath. Now the reason I love these guys is because for someone with more mature eyes, one of the things I noticed as I was aging is that my eyeliner would start bleeding um, by the end of the day and just kind of be messy. I think it's just because you have a little bit more flesh <laughs> on your eyes that's moving around. So using something that's waterproof has been invaluable. And again, these pencils are worth every penny in my estimation. Already you can see how it just sort of makes your eyes pop a little bit more. And then I kind of just dig in this way, guys. <laughs> oh, um, into a waterline. I sometimes will lift my eye up, but since I'm using a mirror and stuff, I will just kind of come in and lift up. And then I can get right underneath the lashes. And then what I like to do is smudge that out, make it a little bit softer. Now I am gonna go ahead and line a little bit underneath my eyes. So you guys have got me using eyeliner again. That's why I love YouTube. Um, so I, again, was told not to put things underneath my eyes, that it was gonna make me look older, but now I have been kind of going through you guys and I'm just gonna lightly line underneath here. I'm going about three-fourths of the way here, and then I am going to smudge it out just a little bit, using a little bit softer look here. So coming through here, and then just kind of smudging this out. Connecting the eyes, and I'm kind of wanting to bring it up just a little bit. So I'm not bringing my eyes down. Okay, right now, <laughs> the intensifying of the eyes. Now what I need is a lot of mascara. So I got the Chanel Le Volume at the Mascara Madness. You guys, this is just a long time favorite. Kind of have fallen in love with this um, again, and I'm going to give a several coats of my mascara. I like to try to get down at the lash line, you guys, from down here and then wiggle it. I almost forgot, you guys. Stacy, again, a subscriber, Chanel Beauty Junkie Lover, had told me to purchase the color corrector in Rose. And I was going to put a little bit of that on, you guys. She was right. She only uses this teeny bit right in the corners of the eyes and it really is brightens it up so i'm just going to take just a little bit right through here teeny bit um blend that out so i've just been using a little bit of this to kind of brighten up my eye now i think she uses a tom ford concealer on top and you guys i'm just going to take a moment to really kind of bring this down. I don't want to get 
too much too light underneath over here I'm just kind of gently bringing that down so I want to see if you can see how that lightens up my dark I come over here with this color corrector so this is one we were laughing because she says she uses this just right in the corner and then uses a different concealer but I wanted to show you this lightness okay there is the color corrector on and then you could go in with your regular um, concealer i've been using the giorgio armani power fabric um but to be honest with you i'm wondering if i actually need if you think i need to put more concealer underneath here i feel like it just lightens up the eyes a little bit here um because that concealer in general, the Chanel one was just a little bit too drying for underneath my eyes. I felt like it emphasized my wrinkles more. But this corrector, just right in this dark zone where I actually feel like I need it, um, I think has been awesome. So thank you, Stacy. This was a game changer. And again, I've been just using a little bit here and then using concealer underneath the rest of my eyes. Um, but just to really counteract those dark bags. So, love that. Okay, you guys, eyes are on with a little extra eyeliner. And then I wanted to share a little lipstick combo that Stacy, who is a subscriber, who is my fellow makeup junkie, pretty much talk to her about makeup every day. Um, I think she's definitely an enabler. <laughs> so, she was telling me the Rodin lipstick that I bought in New York in So Mod topped with the Lavender Clay Depot Lip Luminizer is the most beautiful lip combo in the world. And guess what? She's right. So we're gonna end up putting a little bit of this on. You guys, these lipsticks are really our pure luxury. Um, so far, you guys, right now, I just have a little bit of lip liner on from Chanel and Natural and i am just going to put this guy on first and this can tend to be a little bit washing me out just a little i really like it but it is that kind of um twiggy you know retro kind of pink color <laughs> um these feel like butter on your lips you guys if you would have not tried any of these lipsticks so pretty i think they come in more bright colors um which is not going to be for me at the moment but i do really enjoy this and then after we put this on we're going to top it with the lavender clay de poe kind of like a little bit of a lip gloss you guys the combination of both of these lip products i still love this clay de poe lip luminizer in lavender so like feels so good on the lips and so that is the combination between the two thank you stacy i am really liking that golden this sun is, is a really pretty blush and again it kind of looks a little bit almost you know what it almost reminds me of madly from nars which i own which in the pan i was like eh nothing about it it's one of my favorite blushes i still use that one all the time um, but this has a little bit more of that golden peachy color versus uh the madly is a little bit more neutral so okay here is the final look playing with some of my new favorite makeup that i'm really enjoying let me know what you think of that la beige powder and number 50 and then as always you guys next up coming up i have my favorite summer foundations that I've been wearing nonstop that I think will be great for the changing um, warmer weather, as well as some eyeliner extravaganza from Chanel. So hang loose for that. And you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend.